Hello and welcome to episode 55 of Leave Lore Revolution. Today we'll look at season 5 and talk about guilds. I want your opinion on guilds and I'll give you some information and I want to see. I'm really curious to see what uh, you say in the comments. I want to thank Mena and Norby for your help. I'll show you where I am in the season. We're the 14th of July, it ends the 31st, started the 5th. I skipped a day. I play as much as I can and I'm satisfied of where I am for the time I can give. I beat floor 100 in the pyramid and I'm missing 60 shards. It was a bit less a moment ago. I was given a trick by Norby, which I'll show you in a moment, but I was sitting at the witch with my... Uh, I have a bunch of um, sets, okay? So I have an essence set that I just ruined. But I was like, okay, yeah, I'm sitting there, we're talking where I was in the season, and then Norby said, uh, you can sack leaves. I said, what do you mean by sack? So I'm curious to know in the comments if you knew about this trick. I didn't know about this trick. <laughs> this is really nice. So for those who did cross on the other side, um, after that, it's very easy to get shards, okay? So what you can do, Normie gave me this trick, is I'm gonna load here my TGM set for... Let's go with the floor set. Because I can always reshard it. And I need 250, right? So instead of waiting, I can simply sacrifice, I guess, uh, some... Uh, well, yeah, I would sacrifice the leaf because I have to destroy it in the sense I have to re-roll it. So this one, for instance, is not a DPS one. I don't want to touch my DPS set. So if I, if you look at the number here, if I re-roll my um, props, I get them back. So I do that on uh, five more leaves. So this one is DPS. I don't want to touch it. So I just got to look for this one has only one. In fact, I'll do it because round number, right? So five times fully sharded and I'm good. So let's look at uh, my TGM set. Yeah, this one. There you go. 250. Then I can get in the black hole. And thank you Norby for the trick. We made it. Nice. That's really cool. I just saved a few hours. I don't have anything equipped. I cannot fight this yet. So let's... Uh, I can try it. I mean, look look at my math I'm getting. It's not too bad huh? for a season. I can, I'll can. i try to equip uh, my DPS stuff. I don't know if I can kill this though. I doubt it. I may have to work on uh, some stuff. But at least I have access to the other side. And I can concentrate... Uh, my efforts on the DPS uh, purely. Let me just verify that everything is fully sharded. And these are not fantastic. As I said, it's not that easy because it's very expensive for me. If I go like this, right, I don't even have seven, it's at eight. I don't have all the upgrades in the ancient shop. This and then the pets. We'll take a look at my damage too. Then we'll look at leaderboards. Then we'll talk about guilds, okay? So that's my uh, team, <laughs> pet team. And I'm going to switch to scientific notation. There you go, to see what my damage is. E40, 8 E40. I don't... I don't think it's enough. I'm not sure, it doesn't feel right, but I'm going to try it anyways. And let's see where I am, so if I can't kill this bot. I do have access to Biotype Forest though. Oh yeah. It's been, of course, I did that only once. Crossing the bridge second time in my life, I do this. First time was in the main game. So at least I can play in the biotype forest, which is absolutely great. So it won't be a problem to get the necessary DPS to kill this boss. Let's try it out. No. Oh, almost. So I'm not far. I'm not far. So it will be very, very easy. Very easy to do. So I'm just going to go here and work on the biotype forest. Okay, now let's take a look at the uh, standings. I have my calculator also. So I'm 28 out of 637. So... Top 3.1%. Uh, floor 100, and if I was at floor 101, which I probably can beat, I would be number 17. 
just for fun, 17 out of 637, 2.7%. Okay, uh, leaders, these are the leaders right now, but we're mid-season, okay? Mena number six, how is that possible? <laughs> no, no, but uh, of course, uh, there's a lot of time left. So that's where we are. And there's a leaderboard also for guilds. And we're about to talk about guilds. In fact, I'll cut this. Uh, I'll make a jump cut after that. So uh, not cross, yeah, cross play. So guild leaderboard, okay. So we're gonna talk about the top guild here. Um, no, we'll talk about this guild. Uh, so mine is, I made mine, my own, is here, 35. So we're 35th out of 183. I just closed my calculator. Great. So I said I was um, 35 out of 183. So our guild is in the top 19%, one fifth. So we're better than four fifth of all the guilds. Keep that in mind when we look at numbers. Let's take a look at guilds now. So I'll show you how Honor works in guilds. Right now I'm in the tower trying to get some gear so I can beat that centaur. You can see I have 14 Honor here. You got 5% chance of getting Honor at least on the first few bosses up to maybe the air elemental, maybe. Um, please let me know in the comments if it's correct, but that's what I saw in Discord, 5% chance. Um, and by the way, I'm trying to reach floor 25,000. I don't think it gives anything spectacular, but anyways, I'm just farming gear. So 723 out of 775 XP. So you can give honor to increase your XP. I'm keeping some of it. But I'll probably give it to the uh, guild. That's because you can convert your honor into blue gems. I did it only once and there's more gem upgrades than usual. And look at that, even saturated shards is there. I bought Witch Essence. I think that's what I, I did one conversion of five, that's it. Usually I give it all to the guild. Sometimes I wait just before we level up. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm just seeing what other people do. Um, so that's how it works. First thing I'm gonna look at is a poll that I made on my community post, 106 votes. Do you think guilds give an unfair advantage to certain players? 78% of people said yes, and 6% of people gave a nuanced answer. So, is it true? Does it really give an unfair advantage? Well, let's take a look at the number two guild compared to ours. So that guild is level 48. So here I put side by side my guild and the number two guild, Beatopia which is level 48, number one guild, AAB, what is it again? AAB Corp is level 50 as we speak. Of course, that's going to continue moving. As I said, we're mid season and uh, you can tell the numbers are much higher for them, which is, I guess, normal. We are a much lower level. I'm going to show you a chart of progress made by MENA uh, in a moment. I was trying to make sense of this. There's a lot of numbers, right? So I asked myself, what's the difference in terms of damage bonus provided by the guild? So uh, I asked in uh, the Leave Blower Revolution Discord online season portion and Mena came in with a number of 3.588 times more damage. Um, I don't know what the error margin is on this, but it's Mena, so Mena is never wrong, so that's the right number. So if I was in that guild, for instance, I would make 3.6 times more damage, which means I would have killed that boss. So it does make a difference. Now let's take a look at progress, a chart made by Meta, as I said, and it really shows my guild is at the bottom as a reference point, okay, in red, AVG, LBR guild, but look at the top guild, AAB Corp. I have trouble with the name for some reason. AAB Corp and Btopia, how fast they went up. In fact, they were level 21 within something like 10 minutes. Am I wrong if I say that? Something like that. And we're level 23 after 
you know, mid-season, certainly provides a great boost at the beginning of the season. But my question would be, because we're mid-season, in the grand scheme of things, does it really make that much of a difference? Well, we can take a look at the leaderboards again and look at the very top players. All right, I have both the player and guild leaderboard. This is, of course, the main leaderboard. Okay, I'm going to focus on main, not F2P. That's because I am in main. Once again, I'm here. Okay. So, Bitopia, AB Corp. The big blow. Big. They're 47th. They're lower than us. And this player is still number four. Fox Guild. If I remove this. What I'm trying to see is, are they all top guilds? Yeah, that's a top guild. Matrix. Yeah, sort of. You know, it's level 29. We're level 23, us. The only six level above us. Right? Stable Gang is number four. Terminus Est. Ter. 56th. And number 10, Stable Gang. So it's certainly possible to make it top 10 without being in a top guild. Because, you know, when you have friends or the best player, they want to associate themselves with the best players. Or if you have friends who are among the best, you know, you're lucky, you're in a great guild. Is it impossible to make it top 10? Well, we're mid-season, the answer is no. And I think as time goes, and that's a prediction I'm going to make, uh, it takes longer and longer, of course, to uh, level up the guilds. So the other guilds will slowly catch up. Um, for top 10, I think it's doable with a normal guild, like mine is top 20%, it's a normal active guild, you know, everybody's active, I think only one person is not active, everybody's F2P in my guild, but that's fine. That's something they should do though, they should separate main and F2P for um, guild. The implementation was not perfect, there was problems with the implementation, but I don't really care about that, so long as, it, as it's fixed. But of course, at the beginning, everybody was joining any guild. A bunch of people got kicked. There was resentment. Um, so if they continue with guilds, next time it's going to be much better. So that's the information I had for you regarding guilds. Let me know what you think in the comments. But if you disagree with each other, please keep it civilized. Very important. Okay, I want to keep this channel healthy. Because there might be a little bit of a debate there. Me, as I said... I would have to wait until the end of the season to really have a full picture, to really have a fully formed opinion on this. Does it give an unfair advantage? Well, in the long run, maybe not. Maybe not. In the short run, certainly. I mean, uh, it took them 10-15 minutes to reach level 21 or something like this. It's imprecise what I said, but I'm close enough, which is insane. I mean, it's a huge boost compared to the others but it doesn't matter the beginning what matters is the end result now is it possible to make it top three without being in a top guild i don't think it is is it fair i don't know let me know what you think do you agree with me that it's impossible to make it top three without being in a top guild or what if two players are very very close or in fact they are absolutely even but one is in a top guild and the other one is in a normal guild well that's luck that's something that the player cannot control. So what should they do with the guilds? I don't know. I would have to think about it. Let me know in the comments what you think. And I'll have a discussion with you. So that's what I got for you today. Next episode will be about fusion and transformation. In fact, I already have footage. And I'm starting to really understand how this works. You're not going to see me get the 50,000 energy or whatever. But you're going to see me make higher level leaves and i'll explain the process for those who don't know it and you'll see the progress i made in the main game but right now i'm focusing on the season until the end of the month i hope you like this video if you did please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below if you want to support this channel you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos thank you for watching and see you next time